Fish Niger YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to cut and this and triangle sleeve. So that's just um, what I'm going to call it. You could call it a cone, you could call it a pyramid, so you could see the picture up there. That's what I'm going to show you how to cut. I came across it and I liked it, so I decided to make a tutorial on it. So if you are new to my channel, you are highly and very welcome. And then my old subscribers, I really appreciate you guys a lot. If you have not subscribed, I would appreciate if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel, Stylish Niger YouTube channel. So let's just get straight um, to this and sleeve. So I'm going to be making use of this fabric, but I'm going to draft it on paper because of the peculiarity. So um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut out um, my basic and sleeve and pattern. So I'm just going to draft rather my basic sleeve and pattern. So um, regular and sleeves, I'm just going to make use of about um, 10 inches, sorry, 9 inches. So that's what I'm going to use as my sleeve. Um, sleeve and round armhole and then my sleeve cap so i'm just i used and actually used on two inches so you could decide i could decide to make use of three inches or five inches so this is just like a regular sleeve i'm just doing a rough and sketch because i don't want to cut use my old pattern i just want you to see how it is done so the next thing i'm going to make i'm, I'm going to measure out i'm going to measure out the length of this sleeve so i'm going to be making it of about and 13 inches so this is like and 13 inches so i'm just going to use uh, my ruler like this to mark it out so it will be straight so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to measure out and the width of my sleeve so this is just like my regular sleeve so i'm going to use 14 inches when you divide into two that's this part that's 14 inches so for this part that's this top part this is a regular sleeve, so I'm going to make use of 8 inches. So I'm just going to connect. I'm going to connect on my lines like this. So it is just like this. So this is just like your basic um, sleeve. So this part is where you are going to be attaching to this part like this. So, but for this and peculiarity of this sleeve, so I'm going to cut it out and then we'll work with it. So this is like your basic and sleeve and pattern. So we're going to be working with this um, basic sleeve pattern. So for this and um, triangle sleeve, this and um, top part, we're going to be removing. So I'm just going to use um, my ruler like this. That's this and um, part like this. We're not going to be making use of this curve now. It's going to be straight like this. And then this part is where we're going to be connected, connecting. So because it's like a jacket sleeve. So this is, the stitch is just going to be here to here. And this other part is going to be open. So, um, for this part, you are going to determine how much um, stitch you want to give. That's from here now. That's from this shoulder. How much stitch you want to stitch. So, that is, depends on you. So, the next thing I'm going to use on this sleeve. So, I'm just going to fold for it. In order not to confuse you, I'm just going to fold it like this. You understand? So, we've cut that part out. We're just going to fold it in. So, this is what we have. So, this is what we're going to, to use now to cut out to, to create out our sleeve rather i'm just going to say create out so you are going to determine for the top part you are going to determine how pointy you actually want your sleeve to be how pointy you want it to be so you could decide to add to the from this point like this you could decide to add add um you're you are just going to measure so you're just going to measure now that's from this point like this you're going to put your tape like this from your shoulder Point like this, and then you measure where you actually want it to be. If you want it to be nine inches, so you just measure straight like this. You understand? You're just going to measure and then check how pointy you want it to be. So for this, I'm going to be making use of about seven inches. That's from my shoulder point like this. Coming out is going to be at seven inches. Okay, so uh, this is actually my um, my biceps. I forgot to uh, note it down because I'm going to be referring to it. So I have another pattern paper laid out. So I'm just going to take my sleeve and like this, I'm going to place it. So I'm going to measure out a nine inches. You know, I'm going to, the pointedness is seven inches, but I'm going to, because of the allowance, I'm adding two inches to it. So I'm just going to, to, to take from this and point like this now. 
I'm just going to place like this and then I'm going to create out a sharp and straight mark to this end like this. So you see what I did, just like a slant. So I'll place this here like this on the end edge. And then I'm going to create another mark. So with this, you could decide uh, however you want to, that's the measurement. So for this, the width that I'm using here on this side is actually two and a half inches. So I'm just going to create another sharp to this and um, bicep point like this. Just another slant like this. So you see what I have here. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to, to extend at this point now, I'm going to extend it by um, half an inch. So I'm just going to create like a small slant curve like this to join to this point. I'm just going to create it like this. So I'm creating out a new sleeve entirely with this sleeve. So the next thing I'm going to do now from this point i'm going to create a curve out so that curve that i'm going to create i'm going to use this other sleeve to create it i'm going to cut it out together so from this point like this i'm just going to come up like this i'm going to come up by three inches on this and part so this is like three inches so from this three inches i'm going to create a curve like this So I'm going to create a curve like this to this point, like this, and then the curve I'm going to continue. I'm just going to create this down part of this sleeve is also curved like this. So I'm still creating another. I'm just creating a curve on the down part. So I'm going to I'm going to cut it out now. So this part, I'm going to measure how much inch I'm going to stitch. So I'm going to cut out this point now like this. So for this pattern I'm transferring to my fabric, I'm going to increase the width. I'm going to increase the width of this point. So this is how the sleeve is going to be. So this side is going to be on the side. This is going to be this side and then here is going to be the top and then this is the side. So it is this side. This is where we are going to be stitching. So like I said, it's like a jacket and sleeve. So I'm going to transfer it now to my fabric. So this is the fabric that I'm going to make use of. For this. So I'm just going to take one. So it's still the same thing. I'm going to place it like this. So um, for this um, part of the sleeve, I'm going to increase it because I'm just going to make like one pleat here. So I'm going to increase and the length. So I'm just trying to get it out. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to I'm going to cut out another two piece and then I'm going to iron it. I'm going to iron interfacing. I need a fusible interfacing. It's hard one or medium hard. So that's what I'm going to iron on it. So I'm just to, I'm just going to go and do that and then come back and show you. So I actually joined on this part. That's um the four piece. So I've ironed uh, my interfacing on it. So my camera did not capture that part. So I had to to do it this again. So you for you to be able to see. So I've ironed interfacing on, on this. I use a medium and um, strong and gum stay. That's what I actually use. So you could use any interfacing of your choice. So I joined, you know, it's actually four piece because I want to use and um, want to turn out the other. So I've joined it on the side. So that's on the center part. That's this part of your sleeve. So I've joined it. So the next thing I'm going to do, now, I'm just going to place them like this right side facing right side. And then because you know that this side is the side where we're going to be stitching to the to the far and to our bodies so what i'm going to do now you're going to determine how many inches you actually want to stitch 
so remember we're still going to close up the top part so you're going to determine how many inches so i'm actually going to do five inches but i'm going to measure out six inches so i'm going to measure out six inches because i'm going to make a light a tiny pleat on this point so i've made, marked it out already this is the six inches so from this six inches point i'm just going to turn uh, my the sleeve i'm going to turn it because you just put a notch place them together like this and then you put a notch so i'm going to stitch and from this point i'm going to stitch it around now so i'm just going to do that so i'm going to open it up like this and then i'll i'll go and iron it out i'll iron it out okay so i finished and stitching i finished ironing it so the next thing i'm going to just and place it like this and then i'm going to stitch on top of it so i'm just going to follow the triangle down and then this is the open part of our sleeve that will connect to the body so i'm just going to stitch it out now So I finished and stitching. I finished stitching it now. So I'm just going to open it up, iron it, and then put it on the mannequin for you to see the final look of our triangle sleeve. Okay, so this is on the sleeve. So I'm going to show you how to fix it now. So I'm just going to use on this top to show you how to do this. So you are going to um when in connecting it, you are just going to come take the center part so this is the top part and then you are going to start fixing like this from those um, points like this just the way you would um, fix on your regular sleeve so you stitch you stitch it in the center like this and then we are going to stitch the whole of this point up to this um, place so remember this was um our our sleeve opening so it's just like i said it's just like a a jacket and sleeve so you're just going to stitch this point like this you stitch it up to this point so it depends on how long you want yours to be you will stop so i'm going to stitch and then you stitch the other side also like this and then you stop so I'm just going to finish that and then put it on the mannequin for you to see. Okay, so you could see this is the final look of our sleeve. So this was what I was talking about. So you stitch from this point to this point. So this side is open. So the same thing goes for the back. And then for this extension, if you don't want it to be as long as this, you could follow the same path and the same um, method. And then all you have to do is you reduce the, the cap that's the pointy that's the triangle part of the sleeve so guys i'm so happy it actually came out well so if you find this um video illustration helpful please do not hesitate to hit on the like and button you could drop a comment for me on the comment section so i'll see you in the next video